what's up guys, of course, welcome to our Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your rule, of course, the Scarander. And today we're going up against Chris, sort of known as CB Hulk. Uh, he's a long time follower, we battle a lot, very evenly, and uh, he wanted to know you match against me because, well, since we are, have been so freaking even in every other tier, we, well, he really wanted just to step up his game here. And, um, OU is not a comfortable tier for me, um, just gonna say it's rough bat. Uh, I'm using free OU still, so it's not that bad, but the thing is, the things that walls other OU Pokemon that are uh, physically oriented or sweep oriented, they are really, really, really stally. So I can't really bring myself to do that, so I'd rather play extremely aggressive and hope that I win. Like, that is the main strategy, and it's just because I am a Pocketuber. I really, really don't want to stall out. It's. Um, so I've got to try every day to work around, and this was definitely my best way of doing so. I think my closest thing to a wall here is, uh, I think my Slurpuff is the closest thing to a wall. It is a wish set after all. Uh, but anyway, looking at my opponent's team, we got Latios, Gallade, Tranitor, Magnusol, Sylveon, and uh, Skarmory. Yuck. Uh, I myself will use Mega Diancy, Howlucha, Staraptor, Slurpuff, Slacking, and Conkler. Uh, I only put in slacking because if things doesn't work, then retaliate slacking can kind of work. Uh, it is scarfed and just do damage. It's uh, something that is uh, more of a failsafe, if anything. It's basically my last solution to an inev inevitable problem I can't have in this tier. And anyway, I have no idea what he will start off with. I'm guessing Skarmory. And uh, I myself just gonna bring Mega Diancy. I know that magic bounce, so I can kind of, you know, force the spice back on it if it decides that up. And that is the general tactics, I'm just gonna go straight on at it. So with all this in mind, let's go. So I do predict right from the get-go, which is of course very good, uh, for me at least. And I have no way of actually doing damage this or anything like that, but I can't sort of call mine, so I was thinking that is probably my my safest like game plan, if anything, to just become stronger. I must I am able to outspeed almost anything because of the mega form. So yeah, call mine. Um, very mean set actually, but I love it. <laughs> I love it a lot actually. So anyway, he actually goes for whirlwind. So um, jokes on you, and I'm uh, gonna <laughs> whirlwind the Skarmory out. So yeah, I never thought I'd see that. And I do pack the Earth Power, which my opponent did not expect. I was very glad his Pokemon wasn't sturdy, because Flash can will destroy me. He is actually, I think, an analyst or. Um, uh, Magnet pulls. I do take this thing out. It's kind of switching to Sylveon, which probably, you know, it's not walling me, but at the same time, I can't really do anything like lightly to it. And I know that, so he just went for Psyshock. He's going for Hyper Voice, which is completely fine. And I knew that since Psyshock did, you know, in a 50% area where I can take him out, I thought that it might be very likely for him to switch into his Tyranitar. So I'm just going for Moonblast because the Hyper Voice did not do that much damage. He is, of course, bringing that Tyranitar. Awesome, and he's gonna put the Sandstorm up, which means I have now have special defense on my side, and he has special defense on his side, of course. But this Moonblast will get a crit, which breaks through his special defensive boost, which will destroy the Tyranitar. So, um, yeah, Dance is has it going. So Laudios is gonna come in, which is a spec Laudios going for Psyshock, and I am able to live this and uh, retaliate with the Moonblast. And the only reason I actually made it out. Survivor is because my special defense boost. I do have a defensive boost, but it still is on the reset of the special attack. So that's why it gets walled somewhat. So he's gonna bring the Gallade here, and sadly, people, he packs the Shadow Sneak. If he hadn't the Shadow Sneak, I would have been able to sweep. But the battle is longer than this, and there is a point where we just can't have a complete sweep, and Diane C. Wow, I just, I'm bashing this Pokemon for being too weak for OU, I'm obviously, I I haven't tried it since now, so, you know, I take everything back, Gallade is maybe able to pull this through, but Diane C, what a poke, uh, so I'm, anyway, I'm just gonna bring the slacking, and um, just basically, I just wanna see where it's held, that's the Skarmory, I say it just did about enough. That is actually quite pitiful. That that is um, that is unfortunate. But no worries, though. I can still switch out, and I'm gonna go to Conkeldur because 
I have no idea why I did that. I felt really comfortable here, obviously, because I have basically destroyed his team. There is really nothing like offensively pressure on his team left besides the Glade. So I actually take this uh, drill peg rather well. I decided to go for an ice punch here, and if you think about it, I might as well just uh, go for drain punch. I have no idea what I did that play. But hell, <laughs> who cares, right? Like I said, feeling pretty darn comfortable here, so I just went for drain punch this time. And, um, yeah. It's not the most impressive damage, of course, and I'll say Skarmory is quite threatening. The reason I actually went for Dream Punch that time, I guess, was because I was thinking it's gonna roost up. But if it roosts, then I can recover very badly. So, Conkle Dur actually threatening Skarmory out quite well here. So, anyway, I'm gonna go with my Sky Render, which is the Halucha, Super Power White Turbo Halucha, instead of the Sky Attack set. Um. It's very mean. It's actually a bit more formidable than the other Halucha set. Because Sky Attack, while it's a strong move, uh, having superpower on this is um, is just pretty darn mean. Plus, you got 100 accuracy. I don't really have to worry about you know the High Jump King combination, which is so annoying when it doesn't hit. I still like High Jump Kick, though. I still do. But obviously, sets like Protect and stuff like that can wall it out. So, anyway. I'm just gonna go for acrobatics, hope and take out the Sylveon, because if so, then the game is in the bag. And what do you know? How Lucha do it? What a Pokemon, what a poke, wow. And his last Pokemon is of course the Gallade, and my opponent is not gonna stall this out or anything like that. He's just gonna accept the fate that is the Deansi sweep. And How Lucha of course coming through. What a Pokemon, what a hero, and what a Mucha Lobre. <laughs> so anyway, see we Hulk. To be honest, I'm real sorry about how this battle turned out in my favor, but at the same time, Mega Diancy, what a poke, wow! And of course, you know, with a bit of luck, I pulled this through, but that was still a very interesting game. So yeah, I really hope you guys, of course, enjoy this battle, and um, yeah, I got nothing. Um, Mega Diancy sweep, basically. I, I was so impressed by this Pokemon, uh, I'll definitely use it again in OU. It it might it might lack you know in some fashion, but at the same time, if it isn't the steel type like Scissor Threaten it, it can kind of hold its own, and it's definitely showcased throughout this battle, which was extremely impressive. So I'm very glad I used it. So anyway, guys, if you like this battle, make sure to leave your stat a like, and uh, if you're new to the channel, sub. And uh, yeah, remember the sky's limits. Have a good day, guys, and take care. Right, bye.